Welcome back to Squawk Box. The first 2024 presidential debate had extensive media coverage, but drew only 51.3 million viewers. That's the smallest since the 20, uh, 2004, I should say, Kerry Bush debate, according to Nielsen. Joining us right now is Ben Smith, Semaphore co-founder and editor-in-chief. Good morning to you. It seems nice to, to see be you. a collective freak out in the media uh, about everything that's happened since Thursday. I'm curious what your reaction was to... The New York Times coming out with an editorial within 24 hours. Tom Friedman and Nick Kristof and others coming out with their own views within hours, frankly. And then David Remnick over the weekend, too, from The New Yorker. I mean, these are sort of the establishment uh, taking, a, taking a, a quick position at, a, at the same time that the donor class, and it's unclear really where the donor class sits, but have seemingly circled the wagons at least over the past couple of days. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the media at some point is reckoning with this kind of unbelievable failure to do our own jobs. The, um, I mean, you know, the president of the United States, probably the most important subject for media coverage in America. And so the fact that everyone was surprised, that we were all surprised right. by what he was like, really represents this huge reporting failure. And I think, you know, place, you know, outlets, the Times and others did stories about his age in the context of other stories saying his age was fine. But just to have the president of the United States Walk out on stage and seem totally unlike but the what guy you're reading about. Reporting failures. The mask is off. The, the mainstream media is in the tank for the Democrats. Ben, I think it's a reporting failure, okay. but I, I but, but, but I understand but that ben, point. Yeah. And they're this. forced to admit. I think people it. finally forced to admit it. I think they're a, they're a Praetorian guard for Joe Biden. I think they were. I mean, I do think the White House genuinely kept him sheltered. Oh, and I think, well, how I did I know? Think, I'm you just a, I'm a mean but, person but, that, I, that I've been saying that don't believe your eyes for six months. You didn't you know? Didn't you know? I mean, I, I honestly watching him. I, I would know. I mean, I, did, I think I was surprised. I didn't think it was that bad. Ben, let me ask you this, though. And this goes, I think, to a little bit of information, misinformation, truth and everything else yeah. that people believe. So I very distinctly remember talking to Kevin McCarthy uh, back actually in November at the Deal Book Conference, where he explicitly came out publicly and said, I was in a meeting with Biden. He gave the whole thing and said, he is not with the program. He, he's, lost, he's lost it. He said it. Yep. It, was, it was just said. And then I interviewed the vice president two hours later. And I played that effectively back to her. And she said, that's not the Joe Biden that I know. da 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 My question to you is, how much of this, not as a reporting failure, I'm sort of a little bit with Joe, in that... I think people wanted to see what they wanted to see, and they weren't willing to push when they were. And, and for some reason, age is a very complicated topic for a lot of people. And so when you push on something and they, they push back yeah. and say, oh, come on, you're being an ageist, or you're not really, you know, that people didn't want to fully go there. Yeah, I think that's right. And I think, and I, and I think probably Joe, maybe, uh, maybe a softer version of what Joe was saying, <laughs> was that there's a, a freak out in the media about Donald Trump that, that made people scared to write what they weren't absolutely sure of, but what they suspected about Biden. But I think, you know, there were gasps in the press room when he walked on right. stage, which I think means people were and actually so surprised. He hasn't done a press conference in so long. I mean, he hasn't done one at all this year. Conference. He didn't do one hasn't at the end of last interview. year. He won't come out without a teleprompter. And when he does, this is the performance that you get. I mean, I, I think there are going to be questions about whether he can finish this term, let alone run for a new one. You know, I think that's right. And I mean, the, and the narrative over the last month has been, you know, you see these clips of him on social media looking old, yeah. but they're out of context. They're edited. Trump is but old, too. And the debate really... So to the extent that there's the a...